What's up guys? In this video we paint the off-road go-kart. Just kidding, we slam it! about that time now where we're gonna start finally working on getting this cart painted. It was a lot of fun you saw in the last video of us trying to break it. It's kind of slow but I mean it's good enough for what it is. It's just a 212 Predator cart you know pretty basic. Go Power Sports mods. So yeah I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start tearing apart like the A arms and this back uh, control arm here. As you can see, it's like a pretty good gray color. We might just try to find a color match and paint it, but we're gonna go with a um, like a sand army color to kind of match the olive drab on our other cart. So that way, when we're driving the two off-road go karts, it's kind of a army kind of thing. So black no. rims, yeah, black rims too. It's gonna look really good. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is probably take off this engine section and we can also unbolt the roll cage here so pretty cool okay battery's coming out too just a little bit cool this thing actually looks pretty good without the cage kind of like a little uh, I don't know <laughs> it's very low slung now. Dude, yeah. I actually really like it. Yeah, I like the cage though. It's a nice because this thing three wheels a lot, so it's it's good to have that little com extra comfort. Because if this thing falls on you, it's not gonna be a very good day. But it looks good. Okay. And the ox beam lights are out. Okay, so. That's it for the seat belts. I think these are in pretty good shape. We just have to clean them up a little bit. So cool. Opa! <laughs> <laughs> that's really gross. Okay, so that's out. And I'm just working on getting these super rusty, crusty seats out. Uh, I think we're gonna replace these with Go Power Sport stuff. So that'll be cool. We'll have to head back down there tomorrow. Steering is out. There we go. So now I just need to unbolt the shocks and we're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> slam. Okay, so we're about to slam this cart. <laughs> oh, dude. We should. Okay. Next one of these carts we get, we're making a. We're gonna have this camber up front. We're gonna have it low as hell. Dude, this is um, sick. Yes, man. Oh, put some like racing slicks on this. Okay, this has to be done eventually, okay guys? I'm gonna keep an eye out for a frame like this and we're doing a stance build, okay? Needs a wing on the back, probably straight pipe exhaust. <laughs> All right, well, not this cart, so. It's some ideas though, for sure. But I think we'll get this completely unbolted in the front, but this is sick. Real talk, guys. We cannot pass this up. Like, I am looking at this thing, and I said I wanna get another one. Why not just do it now, okay? So, the plan is, we're, this is gonna be horrible driving. Absolute garbage. We're gonna do it anyway. So our main objective here is we need to make this thing removable, okay? So when we realize this drives like garbage, we're able to just take these take these springs off and re-bolt it up to make it an actual functioning off-road go-kart, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these front springs here and just cut a piece of metal with two holes in it that's gonna keep a static suspension so it's at this height all the time. And that way we're not modifying the frame at all, so if we want to just bolt these shocks back in, we're good to go. We still don't know what we're going to do on the back, but it's going to have to be something that bolts in 
and something that moves this back a little bit more. So maybe just something that folds from here to here, and then something that folds from here to here, and then a bar in between, just to make a triangle so it stays static. But we're testing up the rack now, but <laughs> this needs to happen. I am, this, uh, this vision, like, we were not, we were not intending on doing this, guys, but this is how it goes, and we're this gonna is, make a slammed go-kart. This is divine revelation. Okay, shocks are coming off. That way we can work on getting this, these just metal bars in to replace them. There's a whole deal of this, it just needs to be removable, but it's cool. Okay, so that's happening because we gotta swoosh in the edges of this pipe and drill a hole so we can deep it like this. I'll have to weld up that line. But, so, kind of get the idea there. So that way it's kind of in. It's in the spot, but all we have to do to put it back to regular is just unbolt it. And here's that on that side. So all we gotta do is drill the holes in that, and we're good to go. The front is done and completely static. We've got these two bars right yeah. here. So this is bolted right up. And the, this means that the front ride height is set. And we're talking an inch probably. So yeah. that's sweet. So now what we gotta do is we got a jack stand there, jack here, and we just really need to figure out how to make some bracketry and stuff so that the front doesn't like move forward when we give it some gas. So might be a little tough, but I mean, I'm just gonna cut back and we're kind of have a setup going because I have no idea how to explain it and I have no idea what I'm doing yet, so. Okay, so we have two front bars and then in the back we have two bars and then now we're gonna do a bar from here to here to brace it that way. So in theory, oh yeah dude, it's not going anywhere. Perfect, that way in hell. There's a setup, bar there, bar there, bar there. Two bars up front. You're gonna replicate that with bolts on the other side. In theory, she should stay still. As you can see, we welded these bars in, and when we put a bolt through right here, it's gonna be crazy solid, guys. This is looking really good. It's kinda like, I don't know. I was, I was kinda skeptical. At one point, we were kinda just adding bars, but hey. It's holding up and we got that front camber gang rolling, so this is going to look sick. Uh, comp, or actually, I think we're going to go with a uh, black with like red wheel scheme on this, like do some like pinstriping and stuff. I don't really know yet, but I think this thing will look kind of cool black, kind of like Batmobile vibes, you know, so, but we'll have to see. And we have a good gas tank clearance and all that, so. Yeah, in theory, everything on this will be able to unbolt. So we should just be able to unbolt everything, put the shocks back on, and rebolt that right there. And we have a regular off-road go-kart again. And if we wanna go low, we <laughs> bring out these bars and freaking slam it. All right, the bolt's not in yet, but guys, we are slammed and we are turning. Oh, and it just came out, but. That's pretty cool. So I think we're gonna have to, we're just gonna bore out that hole on that spindle a little bit. But we're almost here, guys. After this, all we have to do is just tighten everything up, and we're driving this thing. So you can see, I spent a lot of time making these tie rods here. I'm pretty happy with them. So, and you can see that it's getting full lock here, full lock here. What the? Do you see this? 
Look, I want to turn this way. <laughs> uh, I, the instinct's gonna kick in, and we're gonna be about to hit a wall or something, and we'll be like, oh, and then we're gonna go that way. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm not fixing it, it's really late. Uh, maybe we just flip it over later, but for now, that makes sense why the steering wheel's upside down and it's straight too. <laughs> Oh, cool. Uh, we're really close to being done. The back is like super. This thing is an inch off the ground, guys. How did this happen? How did this happen? Look at the front wheels. What is wrong with us? I don't know. We're either gonna get roasted for this, or, is it, or this is like the best idea ever. I think it's a pretty good idea. So. Okay. Final update. Everything's hooked up. She's done. So, got these, solid, we got the homemade tie rods, uh, rack and pinion is upside down, we'll fix that later, uh, stereo is connected, <laughs> it's perfectly straight, we got new car car seat. Belt on. new belt, Go we'll put the stock muffler on, this looks yeah, a little quieter, it, yeah it's really laid out now, it's and about like, <laughs> Been working all day. Got these two bars holding it from vertically, and we got that one horizontally. So, gotta slime up this tire. It's flat, and that's it. And then we'll go take it out for a test drive, and hopefully, not hopefully crash. drag some frame. <laughs> keep pumping, Jason. Keep pumping. I hear it's like ATVs take 24 pumps. Yeah. Uh, we need about 60. Well, dude, that's, that, I think that's enough. That's like half a thing. Half a slime? Half a slime. We got about half a slime in that tire, so hopefully it works. Okay. Alright, I don't know what this monstrosity is. All I know is we're about to drive it, so... Who knows at this point how it's going to perform, but... Let's just get it unhooked and on the ground. Uh, I think the big issues are going to be steering and you know when everything's an issue. That's okay, we sacrifice that for the stance. So. Oh. Ready? Let's roll. <laughs> How's she drive? <laughs> How's she drive? It's impossible to drive. Did you see that? I freaking marked the curve. Wait, straight, straight in the wheel. Dude, it's good. It's perfect. I know. It's fine. This is so beefy. <laughs> the problem is, it freaking... Ugh. Dude, it's so counter... Alright, like... It's like really, really hard to drive. It's simple, you dude. on camera, dude? Turn left to go right, turn right to go left. No, it's like That's cars. it. It's, like it's fast, though, dude. It's fun. I can control it.
Yeah, that was sick. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know what to say other than this thing is absolutely insane. So, if you have any suggestions for what we should do to make this thing a little bit crazier, be sure to put it down in the comments. But, other than that, thanks for watching. If you like this thing, and don't worry, we're going to be able to change this back to the off-road cart once we're done, because uh, maybe we won't. I don't know.